Hello and welcome to my healing arts class. In today's video, we're going to do tree rings doodle. Um, for this one, you only need a paper with some squiggle lines like you see here, or you can download and print the template from my website, Courtney-Danielle.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am Courtney Danielle. I'm an internationally published author and illustrator, holistic lifestyle coach, and Reiki practitioner. The purpose of these classes is really just to get you to focus your attention elsewhere, especially if you're feeling anxious or you're stressed or, you know, even sometimes if you're depressed, sometimes a change of, of your normal can really make a difference in how you perceive the rest of the day and the rest of the week. So I, I know that this particular project may not do a lot for you or you may think it's not gonna do a lot for you, but trust me, it's one type of doodle of many that we're gonna work on. And with this particular doodle, you can use it in a multitude of ways. Right now we're using it on a templo, template, excuse me, and we're gonna go through and do this entire thing. You can do it with me, um, or you can go ahead and mute me and go ahead and do it on your own, your choice. Um, but I see all the time, you know, on Pinterest and such that they show these little doodles and zen tangles and, and whatnots, and they show you five seconds of them, and you're just supposed to do them. I, I find that a little, I don't know, just it lacks something. So for those of you who want a little bit more with your doodling, that's what these are gonna do for you. So let's get started because it does take a little bit of time. Um, for this one, we're not going to color it. Uh, you're welcome to do that after the video. This one, we are just going to go ahead and just slow down our breathing and really focus on our lines and just take ourselves somewhere else from where we are right now, right? We're, we're not asking you to, or I'm not asking you to like live in a fantasy or just ignore everything around you, but I am asking you to just kind of take it easy and focus on trying to do these lines and doodle. So let's get started. You can start anywhere you want. Um, sometimes when I'm doodling, I'll start from a corner. Sometimes I start from the center. It just all depends. For this one, I think I'm gonna start in the center and then just move outwards in quadrants. So just so you have an idea. So it's very, very simple. I'm telling you it's very, very simple. And yes, you could do this on your own, but we're gonna do it together because this is a good beginning video for me as much as it is for you. So got my pen here. I'm not using pencil because I wanna make sure you can see it. Um, I am using a um, board underneath me not only so I don't press down into the table, but so that I can keep you centered and you don't miss out on what I'm doing. I know if I'm here, I'm pretty much in the center of the video. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I know I've already said that, so let's do this. All right, so we're just, it's simple. We are just going to draw lines. We're gonna kind of follow the curvature of each one you can do it in one complete stroke, or you can do what I'm doing, and that's just, I kind of go until it doesn't feel comfortable. I pick up my pen, and I kind of adjust myself. Sometimes I start from the other end, and I meet up with it. There you go. You're just gonna keep going inwards. And for this project, that's really the goal of this one. We're working our way inwards. Healing always starts from the inside, not from the outside. We know that we need to be healed from the things that are happening outside of us. If we are feeling stressed or if we're feeling anxious, it's because something within us is being agitated, is upset. And we need to address it. Now you'll see, this was not very perfect, but you know what? That's okay, it's not supposed to be. Again, this is just 
to bring your mind into the center, quietly drawing lines, simple lines, simple circles, till you get to the center. Really, really easy. When you're done, this looks really, really amazing, um, especially if you wanna add color. Suggestions would be darkening in between and using lighter browns on the inside, but it's entirely up to you. You can do it unicorn rainbow colors for all I care, whatever makes you happy in the end. So let's start another one. We're gonna start down here. So these are just random shapes I threw out on a piece of paper and that's all we're doing. Now I am not using a printout. I'm actually using a heavier weight paper. And because it's nine by 12, I have already cut it down to size to fit eight and a half by 11 for my portfolio. Um, if you'd like to make a portfolio or would like more information on it, please see my introductory video and it will give you some more explanations and ideas. You know, and it's okay if it looks a little rough. This is not supposed to be perfect. The thing about healing arts and, and that's healing yourself with art is that it's not supposed to be some unique artwork that you expect to, you know, eventually show in a museum or something. This really is just very personal to you for your benefit, for your health. Now you'll see with this one, I now have two center bubbles, which is fine. We're just going to fill them both in. You are more than welcome to try and Squish the lines together or make them blend or overlap. It's entirely up to you. Again, this first video really is just to get you warmed up, get me warmed up in doing these videos because I'm really, really excited about doing more of these. Um, I've spent so many decades with depression and anxiety and one of the things that has truly helped me is art. And I know that not everybody has the ability to draw, which is fine. Whoops, made a little flubber there, but that's all right. It's kind of hard to talk and <laughs> draw lines at the same time, apparently. Um, not everybody has an artistic ability, and yet we do. We have the ability to make lines and make art. And that's what we're doing. We're gonna focus on making art, art that's going to help heal us. There we go. Art that's going to relax us, art that's going to just, you know, bring your breath down. Even I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna take a deep breath and exhale. And I might find that my lines actually start to get a little smoother. So I'm not so anxious. I'm not so nervous about making this mistake on you guys. But this is what we're doing. Whoops. See, it gets a little close there, but that's all right. You know, I used to watch as a kid a lot of the Bob Ross um, series. If you don't know who that is, that is a very famous painter who did, um, had a television show on um, public TV. And uh, one of the things he always used to say is, you know, there's no, um, what is it? There, there's no mistakes, only happy accidents. That's what it is. No mistakes, only happy little accidents. It always ends up exactly the way it's supposed to. So no worries. There we go. Now see, it doesn't take that long to do. Again, it's much better if you do it quietly, but if you need somebody to talk in the background, 
<laughs> I am here to do the talking. <laughs> now, I'll be honest, I'm not usually one of those people that likes to hear myself talk. Um, but doing more and more of these videos, I'm finding that it's getting a little bit more comfortable to hear myself talk all the time. And to be fair, you'd think I'd be used to it because I happen to be one of those people that talks to myself an awful lot. Oops. There we go. Just around and fill it in. And around and fill it in. I'm hoping I'm not going too fast for you. And you can make these lines as thin or as thick as you'd like. Okay, me, I'm just, I'm trying to keep them <laughs> as perfect as I can, considering my perfectionism. But when it comes to art, and even just doodling, especially just doodling, really, there is no right or wrong way, there's no perfectionism to it. It will be perfect, because it will be exactly the way it's supposed to be. Just trust the process. And for this one, we are just drawn lines. I have plans for other projects that'll be a little bit more, I don't know, I wanna say advanced, but not really advanced. <clears throat> you still don't have to have an art background or any experience with drawing. But there'll be a little bit more than just <laughs> drawing lines in a circle. And we'll, try to work with other mediums as well, like colored pencils or even paints. But again, this is just a first, let's warm you up kind of project. Give you something to get started with. See? <clears throat> Now, if your hand gets tired because you're not used to doing this all the time, you are more than welcome to pause this video and come back to it. You're welcome to stop and try something else. You're welcome to do one doodle a day or one, um, you know, <laughs> do one round every day, something different. Make it your own. It's your project now. All I'm doing is giving you a light and showing what you can do. And one of the things you can do is draw lines. And I don't know why my light is flickering, but hopefully it doesn't go out. I'm hoping it's just maybe because the dog is shaking the table underneath. <clears throat> My black lab, her name is Koya, and she's never usually far from me. As you can tell right now, she is under the table. When I'm at my desk, she's under the desk. When she was smaller, she was under the bed. <laughs> now she has her own bed, so she's next to my bed, which is close enough for her. But she was a rescue dog. <clears throat> we got her from the pound, Ooh, I want to say 10, 10 so years ago, 10 or 11 years ago. We went in there to help my youngest son get used to dogs, and we were going to get one to just help him along. And we went in the back to see all the different dogs, and she was the only one sitting there as cute as could be be quiet as could be while the other ones were jumping up and down and barking. When I tell people this story, I'm telling you, she saw sucker written all over her head because you know what? There was nothing calm about this dog when we got her home. <laughs> so she actually was taken from a home from a gentleman who had her in one of those chain link collars as a puppy. She was rescued at six months. We adopted her just over a year or, year or so old. But 
She was rushed immediately to the vets for surgery because the chain link um, collar had actually grown into her neck. She had gotten bigger than it and it literally was growing into her neck. So she has all this scar tissue around her neck. So she doesn't wear a collar. She wears a harness, but she doesn't wear a collar. And after some training with an actual trainer, um, we found out that she's very much food motivated. Of course, if you see her nowadays and you see that she's about 100 pounds, you'll see that food really does motivate her. And that's how we trained her for the most part. Yeah, some things we couldn't train her, like wait or stay, that does not work. Um, but for the most part, she's, she's a very, very good dog. She's very, very protective. But she snores, you know. She has crazy dreams of chasing squirrels in her sleep. <laughs> you hear her now, she's up from underneath the table. <clears throat> All right. So, but that's my baby girl. So, if in the background you hear her, that's what you're hearing. That's her toenails on the hardwood floors. And the thunk is her laying down. <clears throat> How you doing? Everybody doing okay? <sighs> Gonna take a little break on my hand here. Just kind of taking a look at it. It's kind of funky, isn't it? Oh, it swirls. <laughs> Originally, this project was supposed to be more like stones, which is where the design comes from. I was gonna do something with stones. Then, I don't know, I just started doing circles and realized that, you know, other than it looks like oddly shaped trees, it kind of looks like tree rings. So that's why we named this project Tree Rings. We'll do something with stones another day, but today it's gonna be tree rings. <clears throat> and we might use this template for other things once we get down the road. I'll show you how to combine some of these doodle techniques to make some really interesting creations. <clears throat> I don't have them all planned out right now. I do have a few that I'm ready to do and uh, we'll go from there. We'll see how things go. I always come up with new ideas as I go along. I really don't want to conform to anything. These healing art classes are different than my blog cast because they really are unscripted. I have no script. I'm making it up as I go. I'm just talking as background noise and keeping you company. Because I'm a friend. We're part of a tribe. We're all in this together. We can all do it. Oh, and I think she's found something to bark at too. So forgive her if she starts barking. <clears throat> Plus this video isn't going to be chopped up either like some of my other ones. So if she starts barking, I may just have to stop completely. And then we'll come back to it, but we'll see. Hopefully she settles down. She is curled up in her chair, so she should be fine. <clears throat> So she is, she is the dog that my, my son fell in love with and the dog fell in love with him and he was never afraid of dogs again. <clears throat> Which is a very good thing. I'm so sorry about that light. We're gonna have to do something about that for the next video. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Ooh, I went really small on that one at the center. 
Hmm. Well, since I did that, I might as well go a little smaller in some of the other ones. You can always go back and touch things up if you want. No harm in that. Again, it's your creation. There's no right or wrong. No need to show anybody your work or what you're working on or your doodles. Not necessary at all. It is just for you to quiet your mind, focus on your lines. There we go. Looking pretty good, huh? Just a little bit more here. We're gonna go up this edge. Oops, that was a really straight line, but that's all right. There we go. Again, uh, I know I mentioned this in a different video. I think it was in the intro, but you know, if you're feeling brave, you are more than welcome to take a picture and send it to me. And we'll post your creations up online for viewing only, no, no comments allowed. You can add your name, you can add a phrase or a statement you'd like to add to it. That's a really bad one. <laughs> Let's see if we can't focus a little better. It will hopefully inspire others to just jump in and try out these healing art classes. They're free. They're here wherever, whenever, excuse me, whenever you need them, they're here. No matter if you're on the East Coast or the West Coast, they are here and available. The download for the template is also free, but if you're working this far with me, I'm sure you already know that. All right, I'm gonna turn this this way, so. One other thing you might want to consider too is whether you're using pencil or pen. If your hand's going across it, sometimes you'll end up with paint or a paint with pen ink or pencil charcoal on the other side of your hand and it's just going to make a mess. So be careful how you do it. If I was worried about it, I would continue doing it this way and probably work down so that my hand is going this way and it's not going over anything. But my pen doesn't seem to be leaving a trail. So we're just gonna move it this way and we're gonna keep working in this direction to finish it off. <clears throat> there we go. Just some lines, that's all it is. You know, it, it really helps you to get into the present moment because you can really just stop and try to bring yourself down into the moment. You know, can you hear your pen or pencil scratching on the paper, right? Can you see the lines? You're bringing yourself in. You're not thinking about anything else except what you're working on. Can you smell anything while you're doing this? You know, if you're using markers, especially scented markers, maybe you can smell the scents. I don't use scented markers, but I know some people do. Feel how the pen or pencil is in your hand. What 
can you hear while you're doing this? That was a kitten. She likes to make squeaky noises. She's very, very vocal. Oh, there we go. And look at that. After all that, we are down to our last one. And I don't know about you, but I'm actually feeling a lot better. I had a very stressful day today at work. And this actually was very helpful. I almost <laughs> put this video off again because I'm like, I am just way too tired to deal with this tonight. But then I remembered I was doing it for you as much as I was for me. And so I started getting things set up and decided to go for it. And that's what we're going to do. All right. And I'm trying not to rush it right now because, you know, I'm almost to the end. There's something rewarding about that, right? It looked daunting at first, and now all of a sudden you're done, and you're like, oh, wow, that, was, that wasn't so bad, right? Look how cool that is, right? It is very, very cool. Let me see if I can get that lined up for you. That is very cool. Okay. All right, so I know I said at the beginning of the video that I wasn't going to do the coloring, but I decided to change my mind. I'm feeling really good feeling really relaxed and I kind of just want to continue. So what I did is I went to go get my colored pencils. Now I use these, they're watercolor pencils. So you can use them as plain colored pencils or you can add water to them like water or uh, yeah, watercolor paints. I really, really like these. Now they are not a sponsor, they're not anything. And this is only one of the brands that I use. So, but sometimes I find that my 50 colored pencils are very hard to choose between what colors I want. <laughs> Where if I limit myself to the 24 colors, <laughs> it makes my choices a little bit easier. All right, so let's see. I wanna do a brown. And you can use whatever colors you want for yours. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna do something different. I think I'm feeling like in a greenish mood. Let's use some green, so we're gonna put these back. I just like to keep my stuff together. I hate to have issues. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna color. Is everything on here? Yeah, I can see it, okay. Just wanna make sure everything was on the screen. So we're gonna, oh, you know what it is? I think it's from me shaking the table, not the dog. Well, we are gonna have to attach the light a different way next time. But anyways, so I am no expert in coloring pencils or using coloring pencils. I know a little bit of blending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I really have no technique. So if you know how to color with colored pencils, yay. <laughs> but me, I'm just going to scratch them along here. Sometimes I do straight lines, sometimes I do circles, whatever I feel like, right? Now, I'm one of those people that feels like sometimes you need to get the hardest thing or the, the thing you don't want to do over first so that you can get to the good stuff last, right? So I'm the one that eats the pizza crust before I eat the pizza save the best for last kind of attitude, that's me. All right, so in this case, I wanna color in this line, but it's not really my favorite part of doing this. So we're gonna do it first and get it out of the way. But again, you can do it any way you want. If you're a eat the pizza crust last kind of person, you can start in the center. <laughs> if you think this is the easiest part, you can start here. And this is careful too that, you know, your hand might um, 
smear some of the colored pencil depending right doesn't have to be perfect you're just here to take time away from the day to think about something else things you like doing right what are some of the things you like doing think about that me it's art it's writing I get a kick out of uh, rhyming things and, and writing poetry that does rhyme. I also get a kick out of bad puns. I know it's terrible, but man, I get a laugh out of it. <laughs> As I say, I'm not very punny, but I am very punny. So, and if that humor is not for you, I apologize. <laughs> But that's how I am sometimes. It's okay to be who you want to be and who you are. We can't all be the same and that's a good thing. It can be very hard to feel like you're different and you stand out from everybody else. But it is better to be the black sheep than be the white sheep that follows the masses. Trust me on that one. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that outer edge. I don't think I'm going to. I think we're just going to kind of, oops, blend it. Kind of make it look like there's just a little line of a black around the outside. See, draw the line and then color it in. There we go. All right, so I think you know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to go get my pencil sharpener. As I think, I've worn this one down almost all the way. Can we make it? Can we make it? I don't know, might be close. You know, if you have any suggestions about how I can improve these, I mean, I won't necessarily use all the suggestions, but because uh, some things are just me. But if you have suggestions that might make the, the videos better, the art classes better, or you have, you know, you like to try something, let me, let me know, you know, email me. I love hearing from everybody. And, uh, you can try a couple different things. Oh, I didn't finish this edge, did I? There we go. Good enough. Yes, I'm happy with that. All right, now, I think, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I think I wanna go dark to light. So I think we're gonna do, cause we have the black background, I think I'm gonna do a darker edge. I know this one's not gonna look much like tree rings when I'm done, but that's all right. I also wanna show you that you should go with whatever you're feeling, whatever you're feeling in the moment. If you're feeling like doing it all in blues, shades of blue, ah, go for it. Then send me a picture. I want to see how it turned out. <laughs> I'm curious, right? See, I'm not a very good colorer. I'm worse with crayons, but I try not to use crayons. So let's do that. Let's do a couple rounds of the green. I have no idea how this is going to look, but we're going to do it anyways. I find that browns and greens are very earthy, very grounding. So that's kind of what I was aiming for. Adding to that peaceful serenity. Makes me think of forests and quiet and birds. One of my favorite birds are chickadees. They sit in the trees and chickadee dee dee. Mm-hmm. I'm sure there's some places that don't have chickadees, so you may have to Google them, but they're a cute itty bitty little bird. Cute little itty bitty bird. All right, and then I think we're gonna do the yellow in the center, or the lighter yellow. 
screen in the center. Mm -hmm. Now you could just scribble through, you know, like this. <laughs> just scribble through. Or you could follow the lines and just take it easy. Whatever floats your boat, really. There we go. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Not what I expected, but that's that's okay too. I think I'm just going to keep continuing with it. I'm going to do roughly two rows of brown, two, uh, three rows of the dark green, and then the rest will be the light green center. Okay. I'm just going to do these one at a time, same way I drew them out. I'm just going to go one at a time with them. You know, if you're, you like the blending and you don't like that white in between, you know how you can see a little bit of the white in between the coloring, you can fix that by adding a second color on top that matches or, or is similar to it. <clears throat> so you could use a different shade of dark green or you could actually do the light green with it too. Blend the light green with the dark green and that'll cover up some of your white marks. All right, so let's move on to this one. Mm -hmm. Now I will also say that usually when I'm doing art, even if I'm doodling, unless I'm at work, I usually have music on. Sometimes it's just like a frequency type of music, you know, sometimes it's just a river running, just something calming. And then again, sometimes my playlist has me singing out loud, right? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that either. Be in the moment, that's what you're doing. You're just temporarily saying, I need a break. I'm gonna go do this. I'm going to immerse myself in it. I'm gonna put my mind at rest and just take a chill. And then when you're calmer and quieter inside, you might find you can handle situations a lot better, a lot easier. Not always, but it does help. I always feel good after I finish a project like this, even if it's just a quick little doodle in color. This makes me feel good. Makes me feel like I've accomplished something, right? It may not be much, but it is, it's an accomplishment. Now, if I wanted to, I could get a, because these are the watercolor ones, I could get a brush out and some water and really blend this in, but I'm not in the mood to play with water tonight. We are just going to do the coloring. Good way to end the day. Oops, kind of cut that corner off, didn't I? I know some people are going, you know, that looks like a three-year-old color edit. Mm, that's okay. So what if a three-year-old colored it or looks like it did? I don't care. It's not for anybody else to judge. If you want to judge it, that's that's fine. But I'm not judging it. I'm happy with it. And that's what matters most. There's that silly light again. I'm going to have to figure that out. All right. I think I'm going to have to take a pause here and go get my sharpener. Because I'm, oops, I'm really dulling these down. Ah. You know, that's one thing I, I 
don't like about colored pencils is sometimes you get a batch of pencils that just don't sharpen right. And if you've used them enough, you, you know what I'm talking about. They just, you start to sharpen them and then just breaks off. Just breaks off and breaks off. Oh, this one has a wide center of green. Lots of green or light green in the center on this one. sharpen on this and then we can continue the power of video recording I can pause it and go get my sharpener and come right back pick up right where we left off and there we go whoops and this one should be okay You know, I actually kind of got the idea for doing these art classes also from all those adult coloring books I see. I don't know about you, but I look them in and go and just, I don't know. I just don't have a thing for those coloring books. I know some people do, but I don't. And I've seen quite a few of them, but I think my favorite was a little itty bitty mandala one, but even that one, I haven't even finished all the pages in it. I just, I don't know, kind of got bored with it. So that's why I kind of came up with the idea of teaching you how to do your own different kinds of doodles and we'll do some Zen doodles and stuff. And, and uh, my hope in the end is that you'll kind of create your own adult coloring book kind of pages, right? So things that you want to color, that you kind of doodle together yourself. Hmm. Oopsies. There we go. Hmm. Oh, look at that. I can see a spot that needs always go back and touch up where you want to. I know one of the projects that I have um, planned for down the road will require more of a, a blending of colored pencils or um, we might just watercolor them to give it the, the real good effect. But I will let you know when we get there. I think you're a ways from there yet. Or maybe not, maybe I'll just make you a template and we can just do that that way. You can add your own extra features to it, make it your own. <clears throat> Oops, sometimes I turn that page just a little too much. Yeah, I'm kind of getting tired of coloring, but that's all right. I'm still going to finish this off. You're welcome to stop. You're welcome to finish this another day. But I am just going to keep going until I finish it. <clears throat> like I said earlier, I have this thing about, you know, feeling accomplished. Woohoo, I finished it. So that's what I'm going to do. Keep going until it's done. And try to keep it on the screen so you can see what I'm doing and where I'm at. Keep worrying. I'm pulling it too close to myself and you're gonna miss it out, miss out on it.
<clears throat> there we go. And have one with a nice big center. I know I've been quiet on you. Probably you're you're probably enjoying the quiet. But nothing wrong with that either. Just remember to kind of clear your head and stay in the moment and stay in the Stay in the present moment of coloring and working on this. I know it can be easy to let your thoughts drift away into a different direction. But just try to focus on how the colored pencil feels, how it sounds as it goes across the paper, how it looks. And although colored pencils are not scented, or at least these aren't, you know, colored pencils have their own scent. Just like crayons have their own waxy scent. But maybe that's just me. At this point, you can officially say, you know, you're more than halfway done. You're almost done. <laughs> you can do this, you can finish it. If not today, maybe tomorrow. You know, the other good thing about having these art class videos is that I'm not restricted to a one hour class, right? Where you kind of have to rush through it and then you're not exactly done and you know. Nope, take your time. Take as long as you need to to do these. Again, just push pause and come back to me when you're ready. Or finish it on your own without me, that's fine too. It will not break my heart. <clears throat> so long as you're getting something from it, that's, that's what matters most to me. That you're learning to focus in on the present moment. That you're learning to distract yourself with art and doodles and colors. That's what's important. Oops, I want to get out of the screen here. So 
I think that my lack of, not that I hate colored pencils, I, just, I like paints more. I think that my need for painting right now is showing through. <laughs> I don't know, it just goes on smoother for me, but that's the medium I prefer. If not black and white sketches, it's paint. I like my acrylic paints. I know that maybe you might be tempted to finish this up watching TV or, you know, something other than maybe listening to music, but I would advise against it simply because it really is meant for you to focus. So yes, I shouldn't be singing along to my music at the same time, but it does kind of drown it out. Drown out some of the noises and the chatter in my head, but TV I find really just distracts, but not, not in a way that, you know, these doodles distract you. It's kind of like, you know, when you're scrolling through your phone and you're just mindlessly doing it. It's a distraction and it's a fake kind of getting pleasure kind of thing. But it really isn't the best kind of distraction. All right, we got four more to go. Woohoo! You know, I was worried when I started that I did choose the wrong colors, but I'm actually starting to like this. I think if I did it again, I'd do the light brown and dark brown, but. I'm not using my 50 pack of colored pencils, I'm just using the 24, so we'll go with some basic colors today. Oops, almost pencil tried to run off the table. All right. <clears throat> Don't think me perfect. I have my moments where I drown myself in scrolling on my phone or find myself stuck to the TV just trying to hide from the world and somebody else's world, right? too far on that one, but that's all right. The greens are close enough that you don't really see it. <clears throat> all right, almost to the end here. If I keep moving that off the screen, I am so sorry. It's gonna take me a little practice to remember to keep it to the center of this board here so you can see my messy coloring and my not so straight lines and my <laughs> my perfect imperfections mm, that's what they are 
perfect imperfections. All right, last one. And we can congratulate ourselves, right? So we did a lot to get here. We took a lot of time to just calm ourselves and quiet ourselves. Uh, you were quiet, I kept talking, but yes, quiet ourselves and complete something. a final thing. You know what it needs? It needs, let's see, I got to sharpen that black pencil. You can sign it with your name. You can sign it with a symbol, whatever you'd like to do. So mine, this is mine. It's my artist mark and we are done. <laughs> I hope you really, really enjoyed this first little art project, this first little healing arts doodle. I have so many more I can't wait to share with you. Um, but for today, I'm going to bid you farewell and I hope you enjoy your creation. Until next time, stay creative and stay calm. 